Woo! Doggy! A sweet orchard farm coming up after this! This is super exciting. I don't know why I'm so excited about these. I mean, I don't really like gardening or anything. I do like fresh organic produce. So maybe that's why I like these. I just think that this collection of figures just looks so good. And you know, something they started doing in 2019 is maybe it's because it's the 60 year celebration. Mattel started giving the clothes more details and layers in some of the newer lines. So you can see every single one of these pieces of clothing are separates and that's awesome. So that's kind of what makes this collection pretty sweet. Now, I think these have only been released in Germany. I think that's the only place. I have a friend in Germany who sent these to me. I am very, very grateful. Thank you, Booby, for sending these out to me. When I saw these announced, I just, I don't know. I, it's probably the colors and the style and the, they're rugged, they're rustic. That's kind of what I like. There's also some other stuff that has been previewed to come. There's um, some two packs like with Chelsea and a wagon and Barbie but you know it's just the repeat characters there's also a truck now the truck is perfectly red and there's no pink on it whatsoever so that's very rare we got an suv not too long ago that was purple and brown so that's kind of cool but this truck is like a truck that i could drive like i wouldn't be driving any purple car i wouldn't be driving any pink car the red truck i would totally be driving that around so it's a sweet vehicle. I hope that this series, the Sweet Orchard Farm, does make it to North America so we can pick these up. There's also two other Chelsea's that are in the single Chelsea packs, a darker skinned one and a lighter skinned one. They come with an assortment of accessories as well. These ones do too. So you can see Barbie here comes with some apples and a basket. She comes with a hat and a watering can. This guy comes with a little plant. The boys just come with one accessory. And Ken here comes with a bucket. And again, sweet outfits. On the back, they show you the three figures that you're missing. It highlights the other three. They look really, really good. Do I need to wait any longer to get them open? I think I just need to open them up. Let's get these opened up. I got some grass on my stands just in case I need them. Here, I better get rid of the gloves. They've also recolored the tractor in a blue. We've also had some farming career sets here in North America that were also colored, I believe. There's been a lot of farm action going on with Barbie and they never gave it a title at least not yet i really hope we end up getting these this is what the back of the card looks like it is sweet orchard farm i could work there that'd be fun i guess we might as well start with this ken here he comes with this bucket it has um fake produce in it fake corn and apples it looks like but the bucket's pretty cool it actually has a pour spout so you could even mop the floors with this bucket. It's Barbie Farm branded. So that's Barbie's logo because Sweet Orchard is Barbie Incorporated, I guess. And it's nice. It's just a nice blue color, silver handle. I like it a lot. And then he is wearing a pair of overalls. And again, like I said, these are separates. Sweet, sweet, sweet coolness. The shirt looks more like athletic wear, I guess because it does fit so tight in everything. And you know it looks like teen colors because of the striped piping on the neck and sleeves. The pockets on the back are very nicely printed on. I can't even tell that they're not real. Like I totally thought that they were real. The straps are made with ribbons, but better than I thought it was. And the shirt is Velcroed in the back. The boots that he has on are these workwear boots in brown. And those are pretty sweet as well. So I like this head sculpt a lot. We have seen this exact head sculpt and coloring before because this guy has freckles, if you can see. And the last time we saw that head sculpt was on 
This fashionista, he had the slim body though. He's um, grown up a bit, but yeah, it's pretty much the same hair color. They both have freckles. It is a shame that we have not gotten a Ken that has red hair yet. This is probably the closest we have gotten. And then this guy over here, we've seen him once before as well. He's pretty much exactly the same as the career fireman, right down to the coloration in his lips and everything. This is a favorite of mine, so I'm glad that they reissued him again. He deserves more screen time doll time. And he comes with an apron and a t-shirt and a pair of pants. He's very lucky. And then so they gave him a smaller accessory that he can't really hold, at least he can't hold it safely. More rubbery than you would think. It, it is this little plant in a pink pot. It's a sprout, it's sprouting. It's got that bottom on it that fits into the play sets, so you can stick it down into some of the play sets that you have. Some of the furniture that has been issued recently. A little sapling. Okay, yeah. Apron, awesome. We will come back to uh, these Kens in a second. We will take a look at their clothes in detail and a separate apron. What a sweet, sweet entity. I'm so excited about that. And then we have Barbie's basket. So a very nice, cute little basket. I don't know if it's, it's even got the details on the bottom. I don't see any brand Barbie branding on it, but it's real nice. And then inside are these apples sweet orchard apples and you can just put those in the bottom of the basket so it's full and then Barbie is wearing shorts and boots a combination that I really enjoy and then she has on this floral little top and it's tied up the front in her two-pack that she comes with Chelsea in a wagon I believe she has a kerchief on her head like a scarf tied around her hair that's really cool I love her green boots. They look real nice and her denim shorts are just perfectly distressed. Again, great stitching detail on them. No back pockets, no functioning pockets, but there are true stitches on those. All separates again. And this is what her face looks like. It's a good face. I've got good eyes on all of these, luckily. It's a real good look. I like all the colors and everything together. She looks very, very nice. And let's move right over to... Would this be Nikki? Is that who we would call her? I believe the boot sculpt is exactly the same. It is indeed, but hers are in blue. I'll just put their accessories at their feet so they don't drop them or anything. And she comes with this Barbie embellished watering can. And instead of having the hole on the top of the watering can, we have a hole on the bottom, dear Lizer, dear Lizer. She can kind of hold it, but not really. Probably can jam it onto her hand uncomfortably, but it can go on there. She can pour some water into the bucket and whatnot. And she also comes with this super sweet hat. Now she has the fullest head of hair out of all of these people. So mm, this hat does have a hard time. You probably can squish it on, but her hair is pushing it off. Oh, I got it on pretty good. Not really sure where the brim is supposed to fall, but I think that's probably the best way. It's a pretty versatile hat. You probably can turn it around depending on how you want to wear it. it. Looks cute. Her hair and her face and her clothes and everything. She is a beauty. Um, the hair is quite nice even out of the package. I mean, as far as doll hair can go. I like that it's a bit shorter too. And again separates yeah separates indeed we got a separate oh wait is this separates it's not separates oh no i was absolutely sure it was but it's not it is almost separates oh this is this is super disappointing for me it could have so easily been i don't know why or what's going on here i'm gonna have to like see what i can do about this Oh my goodness, all of my raving. Just totally tacked slightly at the very, very back. It's totally open in the front. We just got where the Velcro is, is where it is stitched into these overall shorts. I guess you could give it a little trim there if you wanted. I'm probably going to do that just because I want it to be separate pieces and it's not. 
I don't know why it's not. That's very upsetting. So close yet so far away. I think it's safe to say that everything else is separate. She is a beauty. When I saw that she was in this line, it just takes it to the next level. I mean, we always get Barbie. Can't really get too excited about getting another Barbie, but when you get different characters, it's the best. Let's take a look at Ken's overalls. Let's make sure that those are actually separate. I'm hoping because if I was working on a farm, this is probably what I would wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shirt comes totally off. You can see that there's also some blue piping at the bottom. So kind of like a sporty team shirt, but maybe they're Sweet Orchard's colors because he also plays on the ball team. And the overalls don't have any kind of Velcro or anything. They just slide down. The suspenders will hold them on. And yeah, this, this is totally more my style. That is how I would be working on the farm. And then over here with Barbie, she definitely has separates because you can see her midriff all the way around. And it is Velcroed in the back here and it is Velcroed in the back here. And I do like the detail on this shirt. It's a really cute shirt. Like I usually behead all of my Barbies and put them on WWE bodies to give them a little more articulation and to, you know, Barbie's a bit emaciated. She's a bit thin. So I do like to give her some substance. I think those WWE bodies look a lot healthier than these skinny bodies that Barbie has, but I can't. Like the way that they've designed these with the rubber boots, the rubber boots give her feet a little more size. And if you've seen any of my videos, you know I do have a beef with the size of Barbie's feet. They're just too much out of proportion for her body. But with boots on, I'm digging it and I'm just digging all the colors and how everything works together in this line. So I will be keeping everybody intact with their clothes on. I guess I don't have to cut apart her separates. I'm very disappointed that that wasn't done. It really doesn't make much sense. Maybe it makes things easier. At the dressing part of the factory, I can see how making the actual outfit would be more complicated to do it this way. So I guess they're saving time with assembly over production. Lastly, this guy, and again, we do need to make some tweaks to his outfit where I would be on this farm dressing a little differently. Did I show you his boots? They are the same as Ken's. They're the Ken work boot. These ones are just like Timberlands in beige. He's got these um, violet purpley pants on. Not sure I would wear this outfit, but it's a nice gingham check t-shirt, v-neck, Velcro's down the back. But for those hot days on the farm, like the girls get to wear shorts. So the guys should also be able to be a little bit cooler on the farm. So yeah, yeah, that's nifty. Now this apron does have pockets, so you can put things in it that's functioning. I mean, there's already things in the pockets, like some gardening snips and a little spade, but you can also, you know, put your sapling, <laughs> your sapling down in there. So pretty sweet, a full functioning apron Love that. I love that it's not all one piece. And all this farming equipment is extra. I mean, this is awesome. These are awesome, awesome, awesome. I am hoping that everyone will have an opportunity to get these. The only thing that I am disappointed about is that Nikki's, if that's her name, top is not separate. All right, um, right, I'd love to know what you guys think of these. I think they're awesome. Hopefully the other sets and these will be available for everyone in North America to buy as well. Let me know what you think of them. I love them. I hope you will like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Gee, Ken, it sure is a real hot one today. I know, Steven. I mean, if it gets any hotter, I'm going to have to slip into my bathing suit. Huh. Oh, Jeez. Hot one is right, Nikki. Oh, oh, oh. Suspended skirt or over skirt, overall skirt, overdress, dresser overall. I don't know what the correct name for overall shorts are.